For an inexpensive guitar, it's something that you'll keep for a long, long time. And when you hear it, you think, wow, that really does sound good. Right? It's a beautiful guitar. You can't beat them with a stick. I don't know why you'd even want to. This guitar is designed by John Pisano, and uh, John has got the 880, the, the 680, the 380, now he's got a 480. So he's got four versions of these guitars. This one is uh, the least expensive. It's a uh, laminate top, sides and back. It's beautiful though, and it has the appointments that John specializes in. You got the beautiful headstock. You have the uh, truss rod cover that's got the um, magnet on it. And then you it's a thinner box here. I don't know, I'd have to get my ruler out, which. I just happen to have it in my handy box here. Looks like two and a half to me. Almost three. So anyway, um, 
ebony fretboard. It's got the, even though it's got, you know, doesn't have inlays on the front, but it's got these giant fret markers. You see them? So John said, I'd like, I want it so if you're in a dark place and a light's shining on you, these things light up. Okay, so you can you can see exactly where you're at. You don't really need them here, do you? Who, who plays like this? You, know, you play like this. So, anyway. Ebony, ebony uh, pickguard, tailpiece, bridge, buttons. It's got, a, I think, a th yeah, three-piece maple, maple neck. Nice flame. Triple binding on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six ply binding on the front. Now, when you get these guitars from Eastman, they put them through their setup shop. I can imagine what they look like when those guys get it. I, I, I don't know, but uh, they, so they set it up and they, they I don't know, we string it, set the intonation. When I get them, I look at it and I think, well, I can't play this. You know, the strings are way up. Not, I can show you on one here. So what I have, what I have to do is I, uh, I have to recut some of the things in here, lower, lower that down, straighten it out, put on my set of strings. I also raised the back pickup. Don't need to raise the front, I don't believe, to give it a little more uh, top response. Raise it with the Rendell wall with the washers and uh, reset the, uh, the pickup height. And she's good to go. I didn't need to trim the bridge on this. It, it seemed to be just fine. And so anyway, there it is. What did you say that uh, those pickups are? Well, they're uh, John's design. I don't know. Whatever he wanted on there. I don't. They're humbuckers. I don't. I don't know. I've still got the the uh, vinyl on them. So anyway, huh. these are these are pretty. These are around fifteen hundred bucks. So. They come with a beautiful case. And it's so, you can you hear that it's got a real uh, acoustic kind of sound. Uh, you know, let's let's. Um, oh, sorry, man, I'm drifting off to space. Well, if you're going to play something, let's turn off your mics so we can hear. It. Let's let's do that. Let's turn off the mics, the overhead mics, and uh, play play a little bit. All right, all right, all right, Pete. Thank you. 
Yeah, let's hear it acoustically, Wes. Yeah. So shut up the peep. Oh, the. Uh... Puts out a fair amount of stuff for a thin body. So a 16 inch. Anyway, so I got a couple of these nice little guitars and uh, I'll set them up, put my gauge on and uh, really get a play in as best that I can. So uh, there you have it. What, uh, explain what's going on with that color? Is that orange or what would they call that? I think it's called like the vintage, uh, antique color, something like that. Well, that's, I mean, that's more of a violin look, the vintage, that look thing looks orange. Oh, well, I, oh, it's amber. It's called amber, I think. Okay, there you go. A amber, yeah. I'm like, that's, that's not a antique thing. That's some color. Yeah. Sorry, man. I'm playing while you're talking. I, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I think that's what it is. Something like that. Amber. Amber. It's a beautiful guitar, man. You know, uh, so, you know, you could pick up, uh, for an inexpensive guitar, it's something that you'll keep for a long, long time. Now, this is not a short scale guitar. This is Actually, um, I think it's 25 inch scale. Let's double check that, shall we? This is why I have this ruler here. Yeah, 25 inch scale. So uh, 25 inch scale is uh, kind of in between the Gibson scale of 24 and three quarters. And like the L5 scale or the Fender scale of 25 and a half. So um, it's in between, which can satisfy a lot of people. Now, I think this is one in th and a three quarter inch nut width. Wait a minute, I could be wrong about that too. One and three quarter. So anyway, it's good. Good scale, good, you know, feels comfortable, thin body, you don't have to worry about, you know, being too fat. So I have two of these. John uh, did an album with Frank Potenza called uh, Not Your Ordinary Joe. And uh, wonderful, wonderful album. And John plays one of these guitars. And when you hear it, you think, wow, that really does sound good. <laughs> anyway. Could you compare the two same John Paisano models? It'd be awesome to see how Eastman is making their guitars. So do you mean... Well, pull you know, down both of these the exact same ones yeah here's the exact other one okay so do they feel the same well look at the string height the way you can't tell but, you know it's oh. so wait that one you have not worked on yeah gotcha yeah so uh you know they're very consistent 
very consistent be between models or between uh, versions. You know, they have they have the CNC machines too. You know, I assume. But yeah, they're they're consistent. They're beautiful. Yeah, they're this is a beautiful guitar. And I gotta say, John just just did a spectacular job designing these. Uh, so they're they're different. They're not like your, you know, a copy of this and that. See how they they've got that extra little. I love that little extra thing on the rim there. You see that? Even though you only see it a little bit. That little piece of binding there, I like that. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful guitar. You can't beat them with a stick. I don't know why you'd even want to. So what's the main... Uh, yeah, so someone on here was saying... Yeah, here, Todd Richmond had one of these 380s, really nice guitars... Ended up splurging on an 880 that is crazy good, but a different beast. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they, they are different. Yeah. So that's why they're, you know, that's why there's so many different models. Like I said, the 880, what is that list for now? Four grand? Something like that? This list for two, I think. So, like I said, you can get them around 15. And uh, so we actually do a little better than that. I can't say the price in case people are watching, but you just call me and let me know. But um, um, the uh, 880 is, uh, yeah, it's totally different. Not totally, but it's, uh, it's a little more alive. It's a little deeper sounding, but it's also $2,000 more. So... And then the 680, I forget, that's about $1,500 more. I, I don't know the exact number. And that one's uh, a little different, I think, with mahogany and stuff. That's a not, that sounds, the 680 sounds different than the 880. They're just different. And then uh, I have no experience with the 480. That's a newer model. I guess since their boat came in, I'm going to try to see if I can get one of those. Hi, Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for checking out my videos. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and sign up for those notifications so you can see all the cool guitar videos we put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. Check out our low price monthly streaming memberships. And if you want to learn jazz, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. I take beginner jazz players and get them playing awesome solos on the fly. You'll see the link for the JGI course in the description below. Hey, thanks again for watching my channel. We'll see you again real soon with a new video.